Yo, yo, what's up everybody? I want to do a review on the Laker Dunk Highs. Um, for those of you that missed the release, you can still buy them for a reasonable price, which is pretty cool, seeing how almost any dunk skyrockets up in price. So let's get into it. So even though this is kind of like a cool collab, in my opinion, from like the Lakers to Nikes, they just had to like change it around. So I guess they didn't have to give a lot of rights, you know, to the Los Angeles Lakers on their sales and stuff like that. You know, you can see the tag, standard one. I like how they do the conversion right there, just in case, you know, so you got the men's and the women's, just in case. You know, if you, uh, you're a woman and want to wear these, perfectly fine. So, these are them. Might be the thumbnail right there. Let's see it. I like how they did um, the shoe itself as we get right into it. Um, I actually bought these off of StockX for $200 and if I would have waited I probably could have got them for about 160 180 and I actually have a really good plug shouts out to Prince if you're in the Michigan area he will get you um, you know Nikes retros Yeezys anything you're into for a decent price um, he doesn't you know charge an arm and a leg so that's pretty cool to find someone like that <laughs> Um, with the shoe, I think it's really cool like this part right here. I know a lot of people are mad like it didn't say like Lakers, but I think it's more cool in my opinion that it says the Nike. I don't know. I mean, it is a Nike, so I mean, if they would have did Lakers, they would have probably had to give them like extra rights and stuff like that. The, um, the tongue right there is kind of cool. I like that. Um... And really, this was the best way to do it. You know, if they would have did, like, where the purple hints are over on the whole overlay and made that yellow and made this purple, I feel like it actually would have destroyed the sneaker because the yellow is, like, almost like this golden yellow, just like their jerseys. Um, and the purple matches up perfect. And the cool thing is, this is a plus. I know a lot of y'all don't like, like, creases in your sneakers and stuff like that. If you're not a fan of creases, this is, would be a good option for a shoe because if you can see this material right here, it really doesn't crease. Maybe if you were hard on your foot, it'd have a little more of um, a dent in there. But, you know, if anything, that might crease with a lot of wears, but it won't crease over there. And it's a really nice material, uh, like a very high class canvas i want to say i could be wrong um the bottoms are amazing they're black so once again you don't got to worry about dirty in the bottoms they'll last really long got the stars right there the stars that are actually um pushed in the shoe if you're a fan of like mids or lows or air jordan one highs you will have the stars on the outside that fade that's why i never really like those i prefer dunks myself um and not SB's dunks, just because, you know, I'm not much of a skater, but I would love to have a pair of SB's if I could find them for a reasonable price. The tongue on these, I could be mistaken, but for whatever reason, it feels a lot thicker. Um, and the material on these shoes is A1, so if you can pick these up for about, I'd honestly say 200 and under, you got yourself a good shoe, you got yourself a good deal. Um... The inside is pretty cool. It's like green, aqua green maybe. You got that. I thought that was a cool route what they did with the inside of that. So some people tape that off because they're worried about it fading. I mean, I wear my shoes. I I could care less. I mean, it would be kind of cool, I guess. Um. The back of the tongue is always, so you know it's premium. Um, the laces going with that, glad they decided to go with the black laces instead of the purple or the yellow because I feel like that also could have thrown off the shoe. And the tongue is amazing, like I said, that is a cool addition, like with the sports right there, like that really is cool. But that's really it for the Laker Dunk High. 
Um, like I said, if you want these, you can find some pairs on Flight Club, Stadium Goods, uh, Goat, and StockX. So, and even eBay, because eBay does their little thing now. So you can find these for a really good price. And um, definitely recommend you pick them up if you're a Lakers fan, if you're a Dunks fan, if you're into shoes, if you're into something different. I didn't have a shoe in this color blocking, so those were all pluses, and I'm all that. And also, it's kind of cool, like, you know, to pay homage to Kobe Bryant, of course, because he was on the Lakers for most of his century. And they have a good um, team, and they have a whole good, uh, what's that word? They have a whole good organization. So, like I said, go out there, get you one. Uh, hopefully, if this video, well, hopefully when you watch this video, it made you decide if you wanted to pick them up or not. Definitely, like I said, don't pass 200 for these, especially over time. You could imagine in like two, three years from now, and especially if the Lakers go next year, or LeBron James gets another ring. You can just imagine. So, like I said, um, definitely pick these up. Good cop. I wouldn't say it's a must-have for the collection, especially if you're not a Lakers fan, but like I said, if you're in the shoes, you're a Lakers fan, you don't necessarily have something in this colorway, the purple, black, and gold, pick it up. Really good thing. Thank y'all for watching, man, and stay tuned. I'm going to do a lot more sneaker reviews and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I can't be um, honest when the uploading time is going to be, but definitely like, subscribe, comment. Uh, stick around. Tell me if you have these in your collection. Tell me if you're going to go grab them. Tell me if you... Dislike them. Anyway, man, y'all have a blessed one. Y'all know who it is. It's Eric Crawford from MI. Y'all have a blessed one, and I'm out.